Interstate 105. Yes, my sexy love. All right. Welcome to the Spur edition of Control City Freak, inspired by Control City Freak, where we talk about the children of the interstates instead of the parents. Just a clarification that this is not the real Control City Freak taught old guy. Cuz we are asked that a lot in the comments. We all know there are a lot of spurs in our 48 mainland states, so videos will be short, rarely some will be long. And there will be about 5 to 7 uploads a week. This channel will be super similar to the real CCF so make sure to subscribe. Today we will talk about I-105 in Oregon, or just Oregon Route 126. Like a bunch of other children and spurs, it connects the parent to a small town or city. In this case, the I-105 runs between the town of Eugene and I-5. Usually. If possible I would begin at the parent and then run down to the end for odd hundreds routes, but I didn't plan this presentation quite yet, so we're starting eastbound, I-105. We will start here in Eugene, Oregon. There is nothing else to sign so I would go with freeway anyway, as long as I-5 is on it I'm fine with that sign. Here on another ramp to I-105 is Delta Freeway and Springfield, which is east from Eugene so that probably works. First exit is the Delta Highway to the Beltway, that's fine, well it is a small town. At random interchanges it is Springfield, and what Portland, Oregon doing some amazing signage here. Here we meet I-5, the end of I-105. Roseburg is a bit small though, to be honest. I would just sign Medford, a lot bigger populated city. Portland for I-5 North is fine. Now, we go westbound, I-105. Both directions are signed Eugene, which is pretty much the only option. And I-105 shield disappears just before we reach the end of the highway, and that concludes the very first episode of Control City Freak Spur Edition. Make sure to subscribe for more. And thanks for watching.